germs and microbes are everywhere. And if you think just because you've washed your hands and then dried them on a hand towel that they're now clean, you might want to think again. Take a look at this picture here up on the screen. You can see that I've actually tested a dirty hand towel versus a clean hand towel versus a paper towel. You can see there's plenty of microbes on a dirty used hand towel. And it can only be after one use because I've actually tested hand washing and how much germs are actually still left in your hands after a standard hand washing. So this video is actually not about hand washing, it's about an ozone generator, and we're gonna see how effective ozone is versus some other cleaning products. So this should be pretty fun, let's get started. Today in this video, we're gonna be testing to see how effective ozone is at sanitizing surfaces, and to do that, we're gonna be using my commercial grade ozone generator, which I talked about in a previous video. I will link that video as well as a follow-up video to that one, both up here and at the end of the video. So in order to uh, test to see how effective ozone actually is, we're going to have to compare it to some other common products, in this case, 70% alcohol and some Clorox wipes, and over here, we just have a panel where we're not using any cleaner at all. We're going to be using these petri dishes and these sterile cotton swabs. And what we're going to do is we're going to dirty my hands up, lightly moisten them, touch a bunch of surfaces around the house, uh, a tub, maybe a toilet seat, uh, tub walls, the floor, stuff like that. And then we're going to lightly re-wet my hands and then touch all these surfaces to make sure it's nice and evenly coated. And then we'll go ahead and proceed with the experiment. All right, I got my hands all dirtied up now and slightly moistened. We're going to touch these panels as evenly as possible. Now, if you're asking what this material actually is, uh, this gray material is actually projector screen material. And the reason why I chose this is because it has a very, very slightly textured surface. Most of the surfaces you touch throughout the day are not perfectly smooth like glass, and they're also not really necessarily rough either. So this is a good average, and it's important that it's textured because that holds on to bacteria and microbes a lot easier than something as smooth like glass. Okay, I'd say that's pretty well covered and pretty even. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands before I do anything else. All right, now that my hands are all clean, the first surface I'm gonna swab is the one where we're using no cleaner. And to do that, we're using the sterile Q-tip, as I said, and I got this pot over here. This is boiled water. Um, I've used this method before and I've tested boiled water and there are no microbes that grow within it whatsoever. So I know this works. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and do the one with the Clorox wipes. Okay, so next up we're gonna do alcohol. We're just gonna be using a typical paper towel. And now paper towels are actually nearly 100% sterile. I've actually tested this with Petri dishes as well. All right, now that that is done, we're gonna go ahead and take this board over to another room where we're gonna run the ozone generator and clean this part. Okay, I've got this box set up in a different room and all I've basically done here is put the ozone generator in this box, to put the board in there. I'm gonna run this for 20 minutes and then we're gonna come back and swab that board. All right, this has now been saturated in ozone for about 20 minutes and I gotta say, this was just about as easy as putting a frozen meal in a microwave. So I hope this works out pretty well. So let's go ahead and swab this one last surface here. Okay, this is my incubation chamber here. This is literally just a box with a rack in it and a temperature probe along with an inline thermostat and a heat mat, which is generally used for horticulture things. So we're gonna put these Petri dishes in this box for a few days. We'll come back and see what happens. All right, it has been 48 hours and it is time to look at the results. So let's have a look. And here they are. So let's have a closer look. So here's a dish where we swabbed the panel after using no disinfectant method whatsoever. And you can clearly see there is a lot of colonies growing there. Here's after using the Clorox wipes. 
and here's after using the alcohol, and you can see that neither of these have anything growing on them whatsoever. And here's a dish after swabbing the panel after running it in the ozone generating chamber, and you can see that there's a few colonies growing on there. Certainly a lot less than if you didn't use anything at all. So before we go forward here, let's talk about these two dishes here. So the Clorox wipes and the alcohol, they may not have anything growing on them right now after running it only for 48 hours in the incubator. But if I ran this for a few more days in the incubator, there might actually be some stuff that pops up. So I want to put a picture here up on the screen, and you can clearly see after using hand sanitizer and Clorox wipes on my hands that it definitely did not have the same effect. And the dish next to it where I use the Clorox wipes on a countertop, also pretty much the same thing. So in this situation where I use the Clorox wipes and the alcohol on this particular surface, it did a good job, but it really depends on the situation and how it's being used. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna see how effective ozone can be if we double that time. So 40 minutes instead of 20 minutes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this board in half and we're gonna put two panels in the ozone chamber for 20 minutes and two panels in the ozone chamber for 40 minutes and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, it is several days later now, and I've left these dishes in the incubator for twice as long as I did in the first part of this experiment. And on this side, we have the dishes where I swabbed the surface after it was in the ozone generating chamber for 20 minutes, and on this side is 40 minutes. And you can clearly see they all have bacterial colonies growing on them, but there is a slight difference. So let's take a closer look here. So here's one of the dishes from the 20 minute run. Here's another dish. And then here's a dish from the 40 minute run and then there's the other dish. So you can clearly see there's a slight reduction, uh, but it is certainly not by half, as you might expect. Now, I certainly expected there to be a significant reduction, and I'm not really seeing that here. However, there is a chance that these might have come from the air, and I don't mean from the incubation chamber, I mean from the board. So transferring the board from the ozone generating chamber over to where I swabbed it, walking across the room, there's a good chance that this could have came just out of the air. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swab uh, two of these surfaces again, but I'm gonna first clean them with the Clorox wipes and the alcohol. Then I'm gonna walk it across the room, let it expose to the air, and then I'll swab it again, and I'll run one more test with uh, another dish and see if we have kind of the same result as we saw here. All right, it's been another four days. Let's have a look at the result. So after cleaning these surfaces again with their respective cleaners and then walking this board across the room and then even waving it through the air to see if I can pick up some bacteria or yeast out of the air to compare it to the ozone, we see that there's only a few colonies growing on here. So on the Clorox wipes, we have nothing at all. I looked very closely, I couldn't see any specks whatsoever. And then over here we have a few colonies. Still certainly a lot less than what we saw after running it in the ozone for 40 minutes. So basically what this shows is that the ozone is not quite as effective as I once thought it was. So although ozone is actually effective, certainly a lot more than if you didn't use anything, it is not 100% effective. Well, I hope you gained some knowledge from this little experiment. I know I certainly did. And to lead out this video here, if you do decide to get an ozone generator like this one, a commercial grade one, make sure that you follow the three P's while you're using it. So no plants, no people or pets in the room or area while it's being used and don't enter that room for several hours after it has been used. Uh, ozone does have a half-life. It will eventually convert back to oxygen, um, but you wanna make sure that you leave it for several hours minimal before you enter the room, just to make sure it gets it back down to safe levels, if not at least 24 hours, if you can do that. So one of the reasons why you might wanna get an ozone generator like this one, even though it's not 100% effective, is if you brought a bunch of things home and you didn't want to have to disinfect those things individually, if you're that kind of person who likes to do that, um, just put this in a box or in a room, run it for a little while, and it will do it for you. It'll get into all the grooves and crevices and just cover everything and it'll take care of it. As I also have shown here in this video, at least if you saw the picture, that even using alcohol or Clorox wipes is not going to be 100% effective either. In, in fact, in that case, the ozone generator is as effective, if not more effective than those things in some cases. So if you do decide to get this here uh, or anything you saw here in this video, and maybe you wanna do this experiment yourself, the Petri dishes, stuff like that, I'm gonna be leaving links down in the description below. They will be affiliate links. I do get a small commission if you use those links. It's a few cents um, on top of that. I do use all that money that goes into that account and I put it right back into this channel, pretty much all of it. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.